beauty matter. Men are shallow. Every single person, no matter how broke, how poor you are, if you see a shiny thing, everybody wants that shiny thing. So what can you do about it? All you have to do is... Welcome back to Nima Speaks, a place where I empower women throughout the diaspora. Remember... Don't you know that a man being rich is like a girl being pretty? You might not marry a girl just because she's pretty, but my goodness, doesn't it help? With your host, Nima Speaks. Hey lovelies, welcome back to Nima Speaks. Today I want you to come back and do a quick video and do a book review titled The Geisha Secrets, Ancient Dating Rituals Proven to Win a Modern Man's Heart by Hanako. Now, this is one of those books that you, my ladies, voted and told me that Nima, 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 you need to read this book. To be fair, this book, I believe, it's extremely helpful for women who are either working in corporate America, women who are working in masculine industry and back to the basics. How can I get in touch with being a woman in order to lure men to me? Now, without further ado, enough disclaimers. Let's go. Before I get started, I would like to define what does geisha means. Ge meaning art and sha meaning a person or a doer. Now, geisha is a woman entertainer in the Japanese culture who her job is communicating music, art, and serving luxurious, exclusive men. They come to her and she just serve and entertain. Now that's out there, let's get started on the first tip. The first lesson that you can learn from this book is that prioritize femininity and womanhood in order to lure a man in. This is one of those things that if you have been in my channel for even two seconds, I always talk about prioritizing your femininity, prioritizing the fact that you're a woman. I have a whole video on how to be a softer woman. But in this book, what I was talking about is that as modern women, remember to remain feminine. Now, there's a few things that you can do to remain feminine. One of the things that she emphasized absolutely is that it's extremely important for you to take care of your beauty. Hanako, <laughs> that's her pen pal name express that a geisha woman they take pride in their appearance they take pride in their hair their makeup of course they were more of a white makeup that's just part of the whole aesthetic but for you of course you can be put together when i say put together take care of your skincare make sure that you have your makeup matches the shade the undertone we should know better and we should do better in that sector another thing that is extremely important here is that understanding your own personal body type now i am personally a pair body shape but i have them mastered the art of dressing and looking good according to my body shape i know every single clothes that looks good on me I know what accentuate me perfectly. I know what just make me look mwah, chef kisses. All of those things I have learned by myself. Now, why is that important? Because that's part of luring in, pulling in, charming in that man. Beauty matter. Men are shallow. I don't like to put it like that, but that's just the truth. Men are shallow. Men are are simple most of them they truly do care about the beauty if they like what they see then they'll come and approach and things will progress from there so it's extremely important for you to understand and love and learn to dress for your specific body shape another thing was the fact that take care of your body that means exercise that means shower your hygiene is extremely important Remember, a man is more excited when he can wonder what is beneath a woman's clothes. Now, my black Nima, mm, isn't that a sick pervert? 
no girl that's not what i'm talking about when it comes to enhancing your femininity and your desirability as a woman there is a way that you can dress that make you stand out now i personally sometimes like to put a little bit of highlighter and show off my decolletoid sounds silly but that just little shine and it, it make the eyes wander to the decolletoids but then look down and everything else is covered men are simple their imagination will run wild by them self if you're gonna show cleavage you're gonna let the girls out well let's cover the rest of it if you're gonna have a high slit or a slit that shows a little bit of your thighs or something like that then maybe our cleavage we cover that up and that what it means to be able to sprinkle in a little bit of skin here sprinkle in a little bit of mystery to bring in and entice that man The second lesson you can learn from the geisha secrets ancient dating ritual proven to get into a man's heart is that start with beauty but your intelligence and accomplishment is what's gonna captivate a man exhibit accomplishment with extreme humility now what exactly does that mean nobody likes a braggadocious show off having beauty is great and everything but you need your intelligence as well it's extremely important for you to develop and nurture a skill exceptionally well why because that's gonna be something that allows you to express your intelligence now this can be something like for the geisha women who are singing they're extremely good communicator there are good dancers. Those are a few things. Of course, it doesn't have to be that. It can be something else. But being able not only to cultivate that skills, but also hold a conversation. The amount of women that I have personally come along who they just have no idea, no clue on how to hold a conversation. And it's sad. So how can you learn and understand how to hold a conversation that is a skill that grows with you over time you don't just magically wake up one day and you become this awesome speaker that takes time but what is important when it comes for you to be able to hold conversation is for you to have a diverse understanding of the whole universe you don't have to just watch youtube videos and gossiping channel and that becomes your reality for me this is my news you guys might laugh at me but it is what it is my news is twitter i'll go to twitter and I'll scroll into finances and wealth and all of that and i look at the different topics and see what is actually going on that's the way that i personally keep myself quote unquote up to date but for you it can be old-fashioned we're gonna pick up a magazine it doesn't matter what you do it's extremely important for you to be able to hold conversation with people being intelligent and humble will put you in the man's side of you then he will need to peel off the layers if you are beautiful you're feminine but then now you're intelligent and humble imagine that that's a full total package now of course you don't just boom come up and show everything at, at once that's what's gonna pull in the men that's what's gonna lure in the men because now he will have to sit down and truly peel back the onion layers in order to learn and see who you are and that's the power of learning how to be a woman The third lesson that you can learn from this book is that value the men in your life by being thoughtful and grateful. But at the end of the day, remain the prize that a man can pursue. When you have an opportunity, perform a thoughtful gesture to a man. Sadly, men have been deprived 
of those little things. Men have been deprived from hugs. They have been deprived from affection. They have been deprived from somebody wanting to care and sit down to listen to what they have to say. All you have to do in order to value the men in your life is you have to be thoughtful. Do little things. They don't have to be extravaganza, but they can be little things to show a man your appreciation. But at the same time, this does not mean that you become easily accessible. No, ma'am, that's not what you should do. You should be somewhat unattainable. One of the things, it might sound cruel, but we like things that we cannot have. The truth of the matter of the fact is every single person, no matter how broke, how poor you are, if you see a shiny thing, everybody wants that shiny thing. So what can you do about it? All you have to do is become unattainable, okay? Be kind with your word and intention, but do not reveal yourself completely to a man. Another thing that I find it to be a little bit icky, in my opinion, is that many women, we have this tendency when we are dating and we talking to a guy, instead of seeing them as just a human being, as a person, we start imagining them in our head as them being our future boyfriend, our future fiance, our husband, the person who's going to carry my kids. And we rush and we exude this energy that comes off extremely pushy, that comes off extremely desperate. Now, ladies, if you don't believe me, I'm going to play you guys a quick video to show you exactly what I mean that women, when they see a man, you went on a date or you talked to him for one time and now he become your husband and this magical man in your mind. Let's watch this video together. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip on how to make a first impression last. Okay, so I've been talking to someone for literally like two days now. I've been talking to someone for literally like two days now. Literally like two days now. Two days now. And we decided to have our first meetup, link, date, whatever you want to call it. And just through our conversation, I know for a fact he is an avid cigar smoker. He enjoys a good cigar over a glass of brandy or whiskey. I can't remember which one. I think it was whiskey. But um, I picked up on that little mental note. And I remember that my dad is an avid cigar smoker and he has a really nice collection. So before getting on the road for our date today, I decided to stop by my parents' house and actually pick up a cigar. And my dad actually threw in a cigar cutter. And my mom, being the mom that she is, was like, oh my God, Samara, you can't take it just like that and hand a cigar and a cutter, wrap it. And I'm like, well, what do I have to wrap it with? Her crafty self had some twine in a paper bag. So I wrapped a cigar in literally a paper bag I folded up and some twine and I really hope this is a good first impression. Now ladies, I have nothing against the lady that I just played the video of. First of all, she's absolutely gorgeous. But one of the red flag to me and she was too desperate. Now this is my personal opinion. After having a conversation with somebody for one day. Literally like two days now one time and then going on a date the next day the first thing in your mind is you trying to get a cigar because you love smoking cigar and you ask your dad and your mom pitched in into this gift that's desperation you don't know the man. You have an idea of what you think this man is. You have this build up idea because maybe he might be six foot tall and that's what you like. The matter of the fact is that you look absolutely desperate. So one of the things that I personally do, go on dates and be spontaneous. Stop looking for a husband, if a man asks you, what are you looking for? Be like, I'm not looking for anything serious at the moment. And that will shock them because usually when a woman, you ask a woman, what are you looking for? Maybe like, I'm looking for a husband. One of the things that I have never in my life done is I have never told a man that I am interested in marriage. Now, this might sound weird, 
But ladies and gentlemen, this is how you hook them and then you pull them in. Okay. One of the things that I personally don't do is that I never show desire for exclusivity, nor do I be out here dreaming about my quote unquote wedding. A lot of ladies, you guys do this and it's it's just, it's awful. And the funny thing about it is that what ended up happening is that the guys always coming to me and start talking about marriage first. Like I have never, never, okay, initiated when on a date or something, initiated a topic regarding marriage, okay, never. Now, I feel like I need to clarify this a little bit. What I'm saying here is that when I go on a first date, I do not be thinking that this is the man that I'm going to be marrying. I'm going to be like, Nima, isn't that a waste of time? Hear me for a second. I believe a date, you're supposed to get to know people. And by knowing somebody enough, you end up realizing that, are we compatible or not? So my strategy is a little bit different. I don't be going on a first date and say, do you want to get married? Um, child, no, please. I need to know you. And by the end of that first date, I will have an idea if we can be compatible or or not. Now, I have just an ability to figure that out for myself. I give them the floor. And when they ask me, like, do you want to get married? Do you want kids? The man will come and say, well, you're a little bit strange because most women would want a husband that would have a dream wedding. And I'm just like, well, I'm not most women. And I guess I'll take that as a compliment. So what ends up happening is that the men become confused. The men became confused because they're like, how in the world is this woman not interested in marriages? And she's out here because my whole attitude, you guys know that meme, Picasso. What's this? It's an art project. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Yeah, that way. That's the mood. I don't give it any time of the day. I'm just like, live your life. I'm living my life. And it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. But at the end of the day, remember to stay present and stop thinking of the future or dwelling on the past. The fourth lesson that you can learn from this book is that be deliberate in your communication to deeply connect with a man. Now, ladies, don't try to win battles and then you end up losing the war. It takes too much energy. It takes too much brain power. And at the end of the day, it's not worth it. I want you going forward. You should be wanting to live in harmony. Remember, to be present and to not raise your voice when you're upset. One of the things that I mention and I talk about always is that when I get upset, sometimes I have to just take a deep breath. That was a terrible deep breath, but you get the point. Take a deep breath, close my eyes, regroup, rethink and then move forward. So that is something that you can be deliberate in your communication in order to connect deeply with the man. Another thing is that when you're in a relationship, make the time for the man in your life by making him feel wanted. The longer you are with the man, the easier it is for you to get into her habit of putting him second. This is the chi. All men need is someone to listen to their problem. That can be something that you can use to appreciate the man in your life. The fifth lesson that you can learn from this book is that let a man be a man. Now, this one had me quirking up because I find it to be extremely silly that as women, especially since we live in a go-go society, we become more in tune with our masculinity. When we become in tune with our masculinity, what ends up happening is that men start to feel that you are questioning and challenging 
their position. Now, that might sound extreme to some people, but that's the truth, okay? That's the truth on how they would feel. When the author said, let a man be a man by becoming independent, what does that mean? As a woman, stop centering your whole life around a man. I have seen women who literally left their job, moved to a whole new city to get a whole job in order to be with a man. Ladies, let's do better. That is unacceptable. Don't center your life around a man. Be careful because as a woman, it's extremely important for you to work on being financially independent. Make sure you have some sort of work lined up. Now, ladies, as I said it before, I believe this book is for all my masculine ladies who are out there in the corporate industry. I know you forgot to do this, so quickly scroll up, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, hit that dislike button if you disagree with me, you hated the video, I'm gonna be mad at you. As always, <laughs> don't be stingy, go ahead, share this video with anybody else who need to hear this message. Let's go and do self-affirmation of the day. Go down below and write, I am a man lowering machine. Put that into the universe and see how the universe treats you in return. As always, na pinda sana. All right, we going. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. And that's on who? Man headed the lamb.